So in this video, we're going to be working with absolute value equation. But in this case, we have variables inside of the absolute value and variables outside of the absolute value. So as we saw on the absolute value equation um, video, we are going to isolate the absolute value. We are going to isolate the absolute value. As you can see, I'm dividing by 3 on the left side. I do not need to divide this because this is just a whole um, term. So that means that if I divide by 3 here, I can cancel out the 3. But in this case, because I have two terms, because I have that addition there in the middle, I have to divide by 3 each one. So I have the absolute value of 2x plus 5 equals 9x, or sorry, equals 3x minus 2. So now, as you remember, we split out this equation now into 2 plus 5 equals 3x minus 2, or 2x plus 5. And we split it up when we had a number here to the opposite, right? So the opposite is, is we're going to write it by writing that um, negative sign in front of the term, right? So I'm, and now I'm just going to solve those two equations, so minus 2x. So I have 5 equals 3 equals x minus 2, just 2. That means that x equals 7. And I'm going to do exactly the same here. So 2x plus 5 equals negative 3x plus 2. So I'm going to add 3x on both sides. So 5x plus 5 equals 2 plus 5 on both sides. So 5x equals 7, and I'm just going to divide by 5. So x equals 7, 5. Now I'm going to check my work. So I'm going to substitute on the original equation. So 2 times 7 plus 5 equals 9 times 7 minus 6. So 3 times 14 plus 5 equals 63 minus 6. So 3 times the absolute value of 19, 7. So 3 times 19. And so 57 equals 57. Right? And I'm going to do exactly the same with the other one. So 3 times 2 times 7 fifth plus 5 equals 9 times 7 fifth minus 6. So 3 times 14 fifth plus 5 equals 63 fifth minus 6. Right? So now I have 3 times 14 fifth plus 25 over 5. I'm just looking for a common denominator here. Uh, equals 63. 5 minus 30 over 5. So that means that I have 3 times 39 over 5 equals to 33 over 5. Right. So 3 times 39 fifth equals 33 over 5. So 117 over 5 does not equal 33 over 5. So that means that 7 fifth is a Stranian solution, right? Because even though it has, it gave me as a solution of the exercise, and let's check our work again. So I have 2x plus 5 equals negative, the opposite of 3x minus 2. So 2x plus 5 equals negative 3x plus 2. I'm going to add 3x on both sides, so I have 5x plus 5 equals 2. I'm going to add 5 on both sides, so it's 7, and I'm going to divide by 5. Even though it gave me as an answer, it's a strange solution, because when we do the check, the check is not through at the end. It's not through at the end. So that means that my only solution here is where x equals 7. Next one, so again, I'm going to start by dividing by 2 on both sides. So I have the absolute value of 4w minus 5 equals 6w minus 9. So that means that 4w minus 5 equals 6w minus 9, or 
4w minus 5 equals negative 6w minus 9. So minus 4w on both sides. Plus negative 5 equals 2w minus 9 plus 5 plus 9. Sorry, I'm going to add 9 on both sides. Plus 9 plus 9. I have 4 equals 2w. And divided by 2w equals 2. So now 4w minus 5 equals negative 6w plus 9. So plus 6w. 10w minus 5 equals 9, plus 5 on both sides, 10w equals 14, divided by 10, I have that w equals 7 fifth, I'm going to simplify by 2. Okay, so again, I'm going to do the check, so 2 times 4 times 2 minus 5 equals 12 times 2 minus 18. So 2 times 8 minus 5 equals 24 minus 18. So 2 times the absolute value of 3 equals 6. So 2 times 3, so 6 equals 6. Again, the 7 fifth. So I have 2 times 4, 7 fifth minus 5 equals 12 times 7 fifth minus 18. So 18. So 2 times 28 fifth minus 25th fifth. Absolutely. Equals uh, 84 fifth minus 90 fifth. Remember that here. And finding my common denominator in the same step, right? So it's going to be 5. So I'm just multiplying by 5. So 2 times 3 fifth equals 6 over 5. So 2 times 3 fifth equals 6 fifth. So 6 over 5 equals 6 over 5. So in this case, both of them are answer of this exercise. Okay, so now my first step is that I'm going to add 4 on both sides. So I'm going to add 4 on both sides. So I have the absolute value of 5p plus 3 equals 2p plus 4. So 5p plus 3 equals 2p plus 4. Or 5p plus 3 equals the opposite of 2p plus 4. So minus 2p equals 3p plus 3 equals 4 minus 3. 3p equals 1, and I'm just going to divide by 3. Okay. So 5p plus 3 equals negative 2p minus 4. So plus 2p equals 7p plus 3 equals negative 4 minus 3 minus 3. So 7p equals negative 7, and I'm just going to divide by 7. So p equals negative 1. Right, so now I'm going to do the check. So I have 5 times 1 third plus 3, the absolute value of minus 4 has to equal 2 times 1 third. So 5 third plus 9 thirds. Again, I'm finding the common denominator. Minus 4 equals 2 thirds. So 14 thirds minus 4 plus 2 thirds. So 14 third minus 12 thirds, so 2 thirds, so 2 thirds equals 2 thirds. And now I'm going to do the same with negative 1. So 5 times negative 1 plus 3 minus 4 equals 2 times negative 1. So 5 plus 3 or negative 5 plus 3 equals 2 times negative 1. So negative 2 minus 4 equals negative 2. The absolute value of negative 2 is 2 minus 4. And 2 minus 4 is negative 2. So that means, again, that both are solution. Okay, so number 4, I don't have to do anything before starting the exercise. So just 4 minus 3m equals m plus 10 or 
4 minus 3m equals negative m plus 10. Right, so plus 3m plus 3m. 4 equals 4m plus 10 minus 10. Negative 6 equals 4m. And I'm just going to divide by 4. So m equals negative 3 half. Now the same over here. So 4 minus 3m equals negative m plus 10. So plus 3m plus 3m. 4 equals 2m plus 10 minus 10. Negative 6 equals 2m. And I'm just going to divide by 2. So m equals negative 3. So 4. Let's check 4 minus 3 times negative 3 half equals negative 3 half plus 10. So 4 plus 9 half equals negative 3 half plus 20 half. Now 8 half plus 9 half equals 17 half. So the absolute value of 17 half. equals 17 over 2. Now the same with 3. So 4 minus 3 times negative 3 equals negative 3 plus 10. So 4 plus 9 equals negative 3 plus 10 is 7. So 4 plus 9 is 13 equals 7. So 13 does not equal 7. So this is a Australian solution, so my solution here is negative 3 half. Also, my mistake here was that I did not distribute that negative. So let's do it correctly now so you can see it better. So I have, I'm gonna, let's do this one. Okay, so 4 minus 3m equals negative n minus 10. So this is wrong, right? I think that you figure out the mistake. Right, so I'm gonna add 3m. 3m. So 4 equals 2m minus 10, plus 10 on both sides. So 14 equals 2m, and I'm going to divide by 2. So m is 7. Now again, my check. So 4 minus 3 times 7 equals 7 plus 10. So 4 minus 21 equals 17. So the absolute value of negative 17 equals 17. So 17 equals 17. So now this one, it is a solution. So my two solutions here are negative 3 half and 7.